Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Elemental Hero Avion Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for June 2022. I've been doing deck profiles that focus on the individual Elemental Heroes for quite a while now. I've done Bubble Man, Spark Man, Clay Man, Wild Heart, and I figured we'd get around to doing one of the first Elemental Heroes, and that being Elemental Hero Avion. This is one of Jaden's aces throughout the entire GX series. It was the first hero he actually summoned in the anime as well, so I figured with the support that Elemental Hero Avion has. Let's make a deck profile to focus on this very well-known hero. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters for our main go-to ace. We're running three Elemental Hero Avion. There is a spell and trap that both focus on Elemental Hero Avion as well, with the spell being a main focus I used for the play style of the deck, being able to hit some pretty strong combos with it, which I'll go over at the end of the video. But once again, Avion is just your go-to for a lot of the different other fusions we also run in the deck, including Elemental Hero Mariner and also Elemental Hero Wild Wingman, having all of these fusion options and needing Elemental Hero Avion for each and every one of them. That's why he's the main focus at a three of in the deck. For more of the search power in getting out Avion, I also run the three Elemental Hero Stratos, just being the search power that you need for the deck, especially being able to search out this go-to card to then use with your fusions or to summon out on the field, and being able to also have the spell and trap card destruction using it. Here's some of the lower numbers for the Elemental Hero Monsters. I also run two Elemental Hero Solid Soldiers. I do like to run the Link Monsters in the extra deck as added options for searching them out. So the extra hero Infernal Divisor, just needing two heroes, can be easily brought out with cards like Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Summoning out another hero onto the field and then going into that Link play. And also gaining the additional option if it was sent to the graveyard by a spell effect, being able to target a hero except for Solid Soldier in your graveyard and special summon it in defense mode. You want to get Avion back onto the field as quickly as you can because then you can use it with some of your other resources like being able to use the counter trap feather wind in the deck also. I also run two Elemental Hero Prisma as an added option for setting up Avion in your graveyard for the Miracle Fusion play, and also taking on the name of Prisma uh, to Avion, so you can then use other cards in the deck. Not only the uh, Trap card, but our spell card that we run, which is the Feather Shot, another play that is used to set up all the different uh, attack combos that you can do with your Elemental Hero Avion in the deck. For the remainder of the Elemental Hero monsters, just running one ofs because they can easily be searched out and set up for our plays. So one Burst in the Tricks, one Sparkman, one Wild Heart, and also one Bubble Man. I don't run Clayman. So, you know, surprisingly, Avion never got a fusion with Elemental Hero Clayman. So that's why I decided to keep it out of the deck profile for it. Just sticking to the fusions that you really just need Elemental Hero Avion for. And it's used in all the different fusions with these four monsters. So I feel one of for each of them is good enough. And that is it for the main deck monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. I run two Feather Shot. This card is comboed with the next card for the spell lineup. For the Avion play with Feather Shot, you target one face-up Elemental Hero Avion you control. During this turn, that target can attack a number of times equal to the number of monsters you control. And when this card resolves but cannot attack directly, and other monsters you control cannot attack that turn. So the main power play will be for your Elemental Hero Avion. I know Avion has a thousand attack and a thousand defense, but I'll show the play at the end of the video that you can do with these cards, with one of the needed cards being your Hero Mask. With Hero Mask, you target one face of monster you control, send one element to Hero Monster from your deck to the graveyard, and that target's name becomes that monster's name until the end phase. So you want to make another Hero Monster become the name of Elemental Hero Avion, so you can then have that stronger Elemental Hero activate the Feather Shot, and for that monster be able to attack all of your opponent's monsters in the name of Elemental Hero Avion. I really do like, also that this card has the mask of Elemental Hero Avion, almost like it's meant to take on that role of that hero. So very, very fitting with the combo. For more search power, along with Elemental Hero Stratos, just the three E emergency call, another search option, especially since it could just add one Elemental Hero. From your deck to your hand, so you can grab your main go-to combo piece in the deck to your hand that much more quickly using this card. For even faster field presence, I also run three A Hero Lives with the latest May 2022 uh, ban list. We had this card brought back to three, making it all the stronger for the Elemental Hero decks to utilize three copies of this card for any of your plays. For more of 
of the equip power as well. I also run three favorite hero. I liked running this card in my Flame Wingman deck that focuses on the Skyscraper play, so I decided to stick it in to the Avion deck as well. You equip it to a level five or higher hero monster you control, and if you have no, uh, if you control a card in your field card zone, the equip monster gains attack equal to its original defense. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. At the start of battle phase, you can activate one field spell directly from your hand or deck, and you can only use this effect of favorite hero once per turn when the equip monster attacks and destroys an opponent's monster by battle. You can send this card to the graveyard, and the attacking monster can make a second attack in a row. So the power-up play is the big part of this. You do have the feather shot combo to allow Avion to attack all your different cards. Remember, this card can't be equipped onto Avion because it has to be a level 5 or higher hero monster, but I'll go over some of the ways to get around this restriction with the card of the spells that I mentioned before being Hero Mask. And for some additional hero power, I also run two mass chains. Just having the masked heroes in the deck is an added power option that definitely helps to get over some of the bigger obstacles on the field. And also to get Avion on the field much more quickly as well. As a After it's been used as a resource, I run the 3-0 Oversoul, just being able to target a normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it onto the field. It's not a once per turn also, so if you have multiple o Oversoul, you can activate each and every one. If you wanted to run Monster Reborn, you can always drop the count to 1-0 Oversoul. Oversoul and run the two Oversoul and then just the one Monster Reborn for player preference there. And for more fusion plays, I run the two Polymerization and the two Miracle Fusion. I already spoke of before that fusion with Avion is a big part of the deck. So I mixed and matched two of these cards for the spell lineup along with the one Skyscraper. So you have the field spell to set onto the field with cards like Favorite Hero and then make use of them because of it. And then that is it for the spells. The only trap that I run in the deck is Featherwind, being the focus of the Elemental Hero Avion deck. I run this card when a spell or trap card is activated while you control a face-up Elemental Hero Avion, negate the activation, and destroy it. So you can resolve and keep Avion on the field quite easily with cards like O Oversoul, or even using cards like your Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, special summoning it back onto the field, being able to target that hero monster. As long as you can give you that defense position Avion resource, you have this spell and trap negation. I know this is more of a fun deck, so we want to utilize as many of the Avion cards as we can, and this is one of the major cards, being a counter trap that is completely dedicated to Elemental Hero Avion. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. I run two Elemental Hero Mariner. I run two of this card. You do have the Polymerization option and also the Miracle Fusion. So you can get this card out twice, even though we only run one of Bubble Man. It must be Fusion Summon. It cannot be Special Summoned by other ways. While you have any face down cards in your Spell and Trap card zone, this card can attack your opponent directly. So even just setting up one of our counter traps and then it can hit your opponent directly for that damage. It works well for that play, being able to use uh, that power against your opponent and also being able to have it gain attack equal to its defense with cards like Favorite Hero means you can just swing into your opponent directly with this card also. I also run the one Elemental Hero Flame Wingman for the burn damage plays against your opponent, and so you can also go into the Flare Wingman plays. We needing Flame Wingman, which needs Avion for that combo, and then the Sparkman. And also the one Elemental Hero Wild Wingman. It must be Fusion Summon, cannot be Special Summon by other ways. You can discard one card to target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. It's not a once per turn as well, so as long as you have the discard cost, you can even set up those heroes in the graveyard from your hand that much more quickly with cards like Wild Wingman to then use with Miracle Fusion. And I also run the one Elemental Hero Tempest, needing Bubble Man, Spark Man, and Avion for this card. The one Nova Master and the one Absolute Zero. I thought of running Great Tornado since Avion is the main focus of the deck as a wind attribute monster. If you were to do so, you can always take out the Nova Master for the Great Tornado spot. And for some of the Mast Heroes, I run the one Mast Hero Acid and the one Mast Hero Diane. You have the wind option also to take out Acid for the wind spot since we really only run the one water monster. It's player preference also at that point point and one vision hero adoration and one trinity for some more on the offensive uh fusion plays to use against your opponent and for the Link Monsters, I run one extra hero, Infernal Divisor, for the search power when it's Link Summoned to reveal one hero fusion in your extra deck. And if you do add up to two of the fusion hero lists on the card with different names from your deck to your hand, the Dread Decimator for the power up of your heroes on the field, and also for the piercing bow damage for them. And the one extra hero, Wonder Driver, for the mass chain search, since it is an option I wanted to include in the deck. 
As for some of the go-to plays, Avion is the big one that we set up with the Feather Shot play. So it all revolves around the Hero Mask and the Feather Shot. And you don't even have to have Avion on the field. With the Hero Mask, it specifies you target one face of monster on the field. Uh, you control, send one elemental hero monster from your deck to the graveyard. Target that end monster, and that monster's name becomes the sent monster until the end phase. So let's say with our uh, first setup, you it could be any hero monster, as long as it is a powerhouse hero monster to go with as well. So if you have elemental hero solid soldier, and let's say we go for the mass change play, activating mass change to then summon out with the solid soldier, mass hero Diane on the field. And mass hero Diane, uh, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon one level four or lower hero monster from your deck. So with the mass hero Diane, you activate your hero mask, sending your avion to the graveyard, targeting your mass hero Diane, and then that monster on the field, which is mass hero Diane, becomes elemental hero avion until the end phase. You then activate the feather shot to target one face of elemental hero avion, which will be the mass hero Diane wearing the avion's mask, and then can attack a number of times equal to the number of other monsters you control while this card resolves. So you'll also want to remember the more heroes you have on the field, the more you can build up. So as long as you have at least two other hero monsters on the field, you can utilize the Masked Hero Diane play, which can easily be done since we also have the setup for a hero lives to special summon out into the field. And then also with the special summon play that your solid soldier can provide before you even go for the mass change target, being able to summon out the additional hero onto your field. And before that, even like I said, the hero lives to special summon out one additional hero, which can be used as a Stratos for an additional search. Using the mass change play to then go into the Diane play, summoning it out using the mass change and then the feather shot to take on its name. Your mass hero Diane can then attack additionally. These monsters won't be able to attack, so remember that, but it can swing into your opponent's monsters and with each one it attacks into, being able to give you a special summon resource on the field, which you can then use depending on which one you want to summon out. You'll get a hero for each monster the Diane fills up on the field and summoning out the mass hero Diane into the extra uh, monster zone means you have more spots to special summon in the main monster zone as well because of it because it is a fusion monster it can go in that spot and more summons to use and then also more fusion targets for you to summon out with your elemental hero avion on the field but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. I really do love making these individual deck profiles for all the elemental heroes. That lets me really focus individually on each one and where their strengths and aspects are with all of them. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.